Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where yeah, we're currently in a war and you can once again ignore the 0% to 0%, we're winning the war, it's 24 to 41. We are currently 43 reasons away from a status quo and what we need to be really worried about right now is our energy credit situation. We definitely don't need to be making additional ships, I think that is very clear at this time. Now, I'm just looking around to see if there's any any major threats around, really. And there don't seem to be currently. Of course, there is these guys over here. <laughs> they are uh, a little spooky, to be sure. But we're just going to proceed for now. Actually, before we do that, we do need to work on some of our colonies here. So we'll build some housing in some of these locations. That will be fine. I'm not going to clear this tile blocker just yet. Instead, on this forge world, we are currently lacking a specialist on employment. So we are. Okay. I mean, we could, I suppose, put in an alloy mega forge. That would cost us three energy credits per month. What's another three energy credits? We're already wildly wildly uh, spending too much. So that's a thing. I think we should probably put in a generator district here, though. On this tech world, we have a slot available. We already have an energy nexus and some energy districts. So let's just put in the, uh, the old research lab. That'll be fine. And hopefully... Yeah, that's not looking great. <laughs> okay. We're going to have to figure out how we want to stay afloat here. It's not going to be impossible, to be sure. So we are coming over here, kicking, kicking them out of this region. We have an unspent civic point, yeah, and trait points, necrophyte shortage. That's all expected. A hostile fleet has appeared to us. Okay, nothing too dangerous over here so far. I would like to build a starbase over here. We really want those six energy credits. That will be very handy. We'll move up over there as well. A study has been completed. Okay. Where is this armada? Oh. They took over terminal egress. Okay. I didn't realize that. Noted. I mean, we can go grab that really quick and easily. We can take just the first combat fleet up over this way. This is our territory. They are getting out of there. Energy credits from jobs, that will be nice. And then I believe we will go for energy credits from jobs again. We kind of need to do that. That will be a very, very handy thing to do. Yeah, I didn't even realize that they had attacked up here. I suppose it's not a surprise. We didn't have this defense as up as I would have liked. So the fourth combat fleet should be sufficient to defend this. Do we have any extra ships being made? Just a Titan. Okay. Noted. This Awakened Empire over here, they are overwhelming to us in terms of their fleet power and tech level. So if they declare on us, we're going to have to pretty much acquiesce. Oh, they're just letting us take this. This is free. Okay. We are currently out of energy credits. We definitely need to do something about that. So let's... Actually, we could maybe sell off some alloys since we really can't afford to make more ships right now. That'll keep us afloat for a while. A space port is the center. Okay. So we have taken Terminal Egress back, and we're going to come up here and fight these lads. And we shouldn't have any problem with that whatsoever. We're going to take these guys back to Wodriax, just in case these guys decide to get uppity. They may or may not. So far, nobody threatening Zeober. That's good to know. How close are we to getting that upgraded? 193 days. Okay, noted. This is not a threat to Atmer. That's completely fine. Okay, we will go ahead and grab those stations. Excellent. And yeah, they're going to take Gardener. That's fine. A study is completed. We'll get it back. No worries. Minerals from jobs. That's handy for us. Let's go ahead and grab... We're, we'll grab the tech for droids, but we're not going to actually take it. 
Okay, these guys are in Zubin. Noted. We're going to take the fourth combat fleet up and deal with that. Really, what we want to do at this time is, more than anything, we just want to force them into not wanting to be in this anymore. The Shroud is available. I'm not going to do it because that costs energy credits. And we'll have absolutely no problem taking this fleet out. There we go. Excellent. Back to Terminal Egress. Okay. So they're up to 47% at this at this time. 39 reasons to not accept a status quo piece. Where did they go there? Did they go back into Sabic? They may have gone back. We'll have to take a look at that. The second combat fleet is now repaired. That's good for them. Okay, how strong is that? 18k? That's not that threatening. The second combat fleet is plenty strong at this time. I would love to get additional starbase capacity. Unfortunately, that's not really a thing that we can do currently. Uh, minerals from jobs, synthetic workers, eh, robo modding. Uh, this is all pretty much mediocre. I think we're going to grab robo modding just for a quick reroll there. Okay, where is this battle happening? That is in Sabic. That is perfect. Okay, let's push these guys on out of here. Now, I would absolutely love to grab all of our previous stuff over here. However, we're on a Humiliate CB here, so that's not going to be something that we can even do this war. And we'll have to keep in mind that these guys, when we declare offensive wars, these guys are almost certainly going to make us stop. They don't seem interested in making these guys stop, which is intriguing. Indeed. They want peace in the galaxy. Well, so do we. We just, I think, disagree on how we get there. <laughs> That's my uh, suspicion. We'll grab Paradise Domes. The first combat fleet is currently repairing. That's nice. I am actually going to reinforce that fleet because we did take a couple of losses. Now up here we're fighting in Grumium, which will be ours again later on. But for right now, it is absolutely not. We'll just push up a little bit over here. 38 reasons for no status quo piece. That is fine. These guys are grouping up over here. Where are they going? Up over this way. There's no connection up that way. So that's an interesting choice to go that way. We're going to come back this way. Is Wyria used to be ours? The Elgate really hurt us over here. The fact that there were double Elgates. That was definitely painful. Okay, Robo Modding. Yeah, that's a thing. I think we will grab... None of these are amazing. I think we'll grab Loader Efficiency. That'll be fine. We're also going to build this starbase here. And I think this construction ship can safely be destroyed after this. And we can save the energy credits. That'll be fine. A hostile fleet has appeared to us. Where is this hostile fleet? Oh, over here. Okay. Ooh, hello. They're going to Heaven's Gate. Noted. Heaven's Gate should definitely be building a command center. What is the strength of it right now? 24.2? I'm not sure that they win this. Naval cap? Absolutely. We need that naval cap for sure. With that second fleet there, they win it. Let's not head directly in. Let's just position for the jump. This is going to be a decent amount of war exhaustion for us. These guys are over here, noted. Anything else going on that we should know about right now? Not currently. Okay. That's fine. These guys are still planning on jumping in. 
It's very ambitious. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted you to do. <laughs> you can just chill. I don't want to spook these guys. I want that 24k fleet to come in. They're on their way. Okay. In we go. So, we are going to be fighting some enemies over here. This is fine. This is not a concern. We will have no problem taking these guys out of here. We don't care about that war declaration. A machine uprising in the Estragon Kingdom. Oh boy, the Mechazur sent Sentience. Okay. Where is that? That's over here? Oh yeah, okay. They are not going to do too well. Yeah, they're, they're going to get crushed. Noted. We can build that research station. We can get rid of this construction ship. We do not need it anymore. We could potentially land on Isweria. We'd be better off jump driving over here. And then we can land on Kartox. How strong is our defenses here? Very weak. Okay. Let's do it. We'll wet our teeth on that. They're attacking over here. This is very bold. Okay. <laughs> We're controlling the Elgate right now. And we are winning this battle as well. That battle has been won. So we are going to head down over here and take this back. That did bump us up to 59%. We're only 22 reasons away from a status quo piece. And we don't care about any type of piece other than status quo. So we will go ahead and land on Kartox. Excellent. And we're going to send these guys over here. Excellent. We have already won this invasion. So this world is now ours. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to push up over this way. And I'd love to continue pushing down over here, actually. Yeah, we're going to have no problem pushing through here. I'm honestly... Well, I do know why they declared this. Oh, these are pirates. Okay. I do know why they declared this. They declared it because we, w we appeared weak on paper, but we weren't actually weak. We should really stop building ships, though. <laughs> that is for sure. So I would love to take this system back. Unfortunately, I think even if we put in the claims, we would not get it, would we? Actually, if we were to claim these... Like, hypothetically. I want to grab this one first. Yeah, that's 35. It is expensive to claim. There's no doubt about that. But that, I think, is fine. Okay, how are we doing over here? Oh, hello, they decided to attack here. Let's push into Cedor. And then from Cedor, let's push into here. And we'll make our stand there. They can't push past that, after all. So that should be completely fine. I'd love to grab all of this back. Something like that. Oh, that's super awkward. That path is mega awkward. Okay. <laughs> We're going to hold off on that for now. Okay. They've come back over here. Noted. The third combat fleet can come in. They're currently bombarding there, but they do not currently have armies, but they could get them there. But I think we get there faster. So that's fine. We are going to run out of energy credits. I'm going to sell a few more alloys to keep us afloat for a while. Yeah, that's definitely their plan is to bring those in. But they're not going to win this war. It's simply not going to happen. Construction venture completed. Excellent. They have no real way to win this, in fact. With us properly controlling the Elgate. We're going to be there in 60 days. Yeah, that'll be fine. Completely and totally fine. You are supposed to be making a bit of a circuit here. Excellent. 
And let's go ahead and grab Dongle up here. That'll be the last of our influence that we're going to spend for a little while, anyway. I don't know if that's going to be the last for a particularly long time. It kind of depends on how this war ends up playing out. The third combat fleet is just chilling over here, as well it should be. Are these guys planning on attacking us? No, they're leaving. Perfect. Yeah, there are necrophyte shortages. We expect those. We're going to go into the Singularity and take that over. And then we're going to take this up here as well. So yeah, I mean, getting the claims on all of this. How rude. Getting the claims on all of this is going to be interesting. There's no doubt about that. We're going to continue looking for energy credits. But I'm feeling relatively confident right now. I'll just send these guys over here. Deal with this force. These guys can push up over this way. Actually, it'll have to go like that. That'll be fine. We will build that mining station. Okay. Council veto. We don't care. We're kind of disconnected from the council at this point. I do want to pop open the expansion planner at this time and colonize Dungle Prime. And we'll do it with one of these guys, I think. They'll necrophage just as well as anyone else. Excellent. We should, I think, maybe not. We're not tremendously fast, are we? No, we're actually pretty slow with the third combat fleet. Let's go up there first and then come down. I think that'll be fine. Fourth combat fleet will continue pushing up. They're currently at 68% on their war exhaustion. So that's nice for them. We'll have no problem taking this station. No problem whatsoever. And we'll push these guys up here and then we'll head back to this location. And we'll have that solidly under control. Take down another fleet here. And we'll head down to Corinth. Wonderful. The first combat fleet is just chilling at Terminal Egress. And that's what we want it to be doing, though. We want it to be controlling the flow through the Elgate. We can, at this point, destroy this construction ship. We will need another one later. But I'm comfortable with doing this for now. Oh, they completed their Colossus pro project. That's obnoxious of them. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Okay, I do want to work on a few claims for these guys. At least, actually, I'm going to put through this singular claim. And I want to see if we were to status quo. Let's see. Grim Council would get Sabik. Okay, yeah, so we can actually status quo this and get claims. That's perfect. So right before we're ready to status quo this, we'll just go through and claim as much of this that we previously held that we can. That'll be fine. Oh, hello. These guys, a stagnant ascendancy, they are isolationists, and they are greeting us for the first time. Our warriors salute them. I don't know where they were. Down here, maybe? Yeah, it's these guys. Okay, it's these that we're worried about, of course. A study has been completed. Okay, we're out of energy credits again. We do expect this to continue happening. Kinetic weapon, attack speed, that's all well and good. I guess we'll grab synthetics. Not that we're going to build any synthetics. We should probably check in on our colonies, though. It's been a little while. Yeah, this is something that needs to happen. We need some jobs on Void Pool. So, I mean, we're doing fine on Empire Sprawl. So I actually think that we're going to put in a generator district. And we'll build a mining district as well. And then we'll also put in a city district. That'll be more than enough. Over here, we are currently lacking housing. This is an agro world, but because we're lacking housing, I'll put in a city district. This colony here is 
set up for mining. So we'll put in a mining district. Excellent. This colony here is set up for alloys. For now, we'll put in a generator district. This forge world does need an alloy foundry. So we'll put one of those in. This generator world could also use an alloy foundry. So we'll put one of those in. This tech world, of course, requires actually three jobs here. So we're going to need a research lab. Plus, we're going to need to upgrade to a research complex. That'll be fine. This forge world here, we're currently kind of a little short on minerals for, but we can still put in a mining district to help offset our forge costs. That'll do for now. Where is this hostile fleet at? Over here? Okay, this is absolutely fine. We're just intercepting that. Sounds great. And we're just going to park right up over here, get some repairs. Wonderful. So at this time, we are going a bit negative on our consumer goods. I've noted that. We'll be able to handle that. That's not a big deal. This is, of course, an alloy world that requires additional alloys. We will get to these in a little while, I think. I would like to work on additional claims over here. For example, I want to grab Grimium. And that's going to cost us 52 influence to claim. It's kind of weird because we did previously hold this, but they didn't take it from us. It was taken from us instead by the L Cluster Nanites, and then they resettled it. So it's, it's a little awkward, to be sure, but we do want to restore our original borders. There's no doubt about that. And that will cost us some influence. A hostile fleet has appeared to Currently a minus six on the uh, minus six on the old status quo front. So we're gonna hold off on getting any status quoing done, of course, for a little while. That will buy us some time to build up some influence. So I'm reasonably happy about that. This forge world here is of course lacking in an alloy foundry. It's also lacking in a mineral purification plant. And we'll put that in first. This, of course, is a tech world. And so it needs a research lab. This tech world here, it simply needs a housing and a job. The correct answer there is a city district. And this forge world here, it needs an alloy foundry. But it'll be another month tick before we are ready to do that. So we'll get that done in just a couple of days here. Right about now. Excellent. So this appears to be well under control at this time. Zeober Station, we could definitely do with putting in a couple of hangar bays, as well as a communications jammer. Excellent. We're making five influence per month. That's pretty nice. I would not actually mind claiming these over here. We should be able to claim both of those relatively cheaply, right? Hmm. Lacking 32. Okay. Yeah, that's very expensive. It's getting increasingly expensive. A study has been completed. Okay, synthetic workers and let's grab robo modding again as a reroll. That'll be fine. I do definitely want to grab this. This will allow us to downsize from these two stations, these two defensive stations, to a single defensive station, which would mean we'd be able to convert, say, Crash here over to an, a naval cap nation, or station, rather. We could activate the Cyberx Warforge. I'm not actually, I think, interested in doing that. That influence is better spent on claims right now, I think. So we're going to need 22 claims to grab this. That's fine. Yeah, that won't be too, too bad. Actually, we could ditch the Grumium claim for right now and grab this claim. Now, I would like to take Grumium back. That is a good system to take. But I want to take all of these eventually. 
That's going to be very expensive in the claims department. Grumium is going to cost us 52. So that is a thing. I'm not too concerned about that fleet. We're in a pretty good defensive position at this point. There isn't too much that they can really do. A hostile fleet has appeared to us. So right now, they are currently at minus six for this acceptance. That's fine. It won't be too much longer at this point. Like, we have ticking war score on our side. We're in a good defensive position. I'm really deeply unconcerned right now about this war. Apparently, there's a very brief battle that just happened. I have no idea where. Yeah, this is not a threat to the Zeoper station. This is not a threat at all. We are currently lacking in jobs on this Forge world. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that to a planetary capital. On this refinery world, we are also lacking in low-level jobs. I'm just going to put in a generator district to help offset our energy credits, and we will go ahead and put in... Mm, which of these do we want? I guess... Kinetic weapon damage? Sure, we'll take that. This tech world here does have a bunch of jobs that it needs. We could upgrade these research complexes. And I guess that's what we'll do. And with that, it is pretty much time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to finish up this war. And hopefully get some more gains over in this region. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.